Hey, it's Tim with Expert Power Wash, uh, located here in Portland, Oregon. Hey, I wanted to talk about uh, surfactants and soaps, primarily Eliminator and Dawn. Um, I see people using Dawn in videos and in Facebook groups, and it's just one of them things that um, a lot of people do because it's, it's a cheap option. So I wanna talk about how cheap Dawn is versus how cheap or, or expensive uh, professional pressure wash and soaps are. Uh, let's take a look at these two here, Eliminator and Dawn. All right, of these two soaps, let's talk about the Dawn first and why somebody may use it over a professional pressure wash and soap or surfactant. Um, probably number one, uh, it's easy to get. You can buy it in any any big box store, any, any small store. Um, this was purchased at Walmart for $3.74. And I didn't purchase it to use in the pressure washing industry. This is used to wash my dishes as that's what it's designed for. Um, so it's easy to get, it's cheap. Uh, you can get it in the same day. Uh, another reason why somebody may use this is um, lack of knowledge. Um, they haven't done a whole lot of research and don't know a lot about the benefits of using a professional soap over a cheap soap. Um, so let's, and then the last reason I want to give you guys, if we look on the back of this, it says right there, if you can see this says, do not add bleach. That is the first thing and probably the most important thing they put on their label because they want you to know that this stuff is not bleach stable or SH stable. And what I mean by that, or, or perhaps what they mean by that is that it's going to break down your mix. So when you mix this with your SH, uh, and then you spray it on a house or whatever surface you're using it for, it's gonna break down your, your cleaning agents and it's not gonna be as effective. Can it work? Yeah. You'll probably be able to tell on this video by the amount of thumbs down that somebody's gonna disagree with me and think that it's perfectly fine to use something in the industry that's not designed to be used, such as Dawn. So check the thumbs downs. And then you guys will see that there's there's people out there that don't care what they're using and they'll continue to use cheap garbage in the industry, which gives the rest of us professionals a bad name. But now that we're past that little rant, let's uh, let's talk about uh, pricing, and we'll kind of we'll kind of move back and forth on both of these as far as pricing. So three dollars and seventy four cents. This five gallon bucket right here was $136. I don't remember the exact amount. Uh, you can go on to pressuretech.com and take a look at the pricing. So it's the price plus shipping. So I live out in Portland, Oregon. So it was $136 to have this shipped to my front door, which I did a great job, no leaks. Um, and the reason why I bought this, cause I've used it before. There's my empty one. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, so $136. $3.74. So you're probably looking at the two right here and thinking, okay, well, I can see a lot easier why people would want to use the Dawn over the Eliminator. It's obviously cheaper, right? Well, let's, uh, I'm going to open up the iPad here. And the reason why I want to do it this way is I want you guys to see the math. So we're gonna to go to the calculator. And so we're gonna take, uh, not now. So the Don's $3.74. So we're gonna go 3.74 divided by, it's about 16 ounces. So right there, you got your math. It's 23 cents um, per ounce. So roughly you're going to use eh, about five to seven gallons of mix per, if you're doing a house wash and it's going to vary. So let's break this down. Uh, let's times this by, let's just say five for an easy number. It's times five. So we're talking about a dollar 16 
in soap costs per house that you wash, roughly. Now, you can go a buck 25, a buck 20. We're just going to use what we have here. So, dollar 16. So, this stuff right here that's not designed for the industry is going to cost you a dollar 16. All right, let's talk about the eliminator. What does that cost per ounce and what does it cost to wash a house with? So, uh, clear this up. So, it was. $136. I've already done the math here. There's 640 ounces in that five gallon if you do, you know, 128 times five. So divided by 640. Does that surprise some of you guys? If you're surprised by the, the by the cost there, leave leave some comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. But it's 21 cents. Um, this stuff. 23 cents. So we're not talking about hundreds of dollars or anything, but if you do this professionally and you do hundreds, you know, thousands of jobs, it's actually cheaper to use professional soap than use, you know, pardon me, this garbage here. It's great for dishes, by the way, just not what we do. So that's, that's 21 cents an ounce. So again, we're going to do the same thing times five so we're up to a dollar six you can round it up to a dollar ten if you'd like uh, so we were at a dollar sixteen for that and a dollar six on the eliminator so really it's a no-brainer for me um, every time I see somebody Mention that they use Dawn or mention that they use a soap that's not professional. Uh, and their main reason for doing that is because it's cheaper. Uh, that's not true. That is absolutely not true. It costs less to use something that's professional. And it's designed for the type of cleaning that we do. Um, I'm going to leave you with this one last, last reason why I choose a laminator over Dawn or any other type of soap. It's... Uh, it rinses awesome. So if you guys have not tried it, I know that there's going to be people out there that's going to have their own preference. There's a ton of people making soaps out there, and most of them, a lot of them are good. But I'll tell you, I've, I've used, this is an empty one here. I've used plenty of it. This is my new one. Um, this is not for washing houses, obviously, but there's slow-mo. That's what I use on roofs. And then you're going to have your Apple Wash, guys. Hey, I use Apple Wash, too. I've, I've used a lot of different soaps. But today, you know, we're just talking about the uh, the Dawn and the Lemoner. But the reason why I use it, like I said, it rinses well. Uh, it, it almost leaves windows uh, streak free. If you're in the summer heat, obviously you don't want to leave any type of soap or uh, mix on a, on a hot window. It's it's gonna it's gonna leave it's gonna leave marks. So I've seen that argument go back and forth. But I can tell you, with the hundreds of houses that I've washed, um, this is my go-to soap. I absolutely love it. Uh, Pressure Tech's not paying me to do this. Um, just trying to uh, help you guys and uh, bring some knowledge to the industry and show you that Dawn is actually more expensive than Eliminator. So if there's a soap that you guys use that you prefer over Eliminator, uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, if you don't like Eliminator, um, by all means, you know, let me know what you don't like about it. Uh, and if you use Dawn, let me know why you use Dawn. Uh, maybe you have a better argument for why you use Dawn than, than what I stated here in this video. Uh, if you found this useful, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Uh, there's plenty of Dawn users out there that are going to hit the thumbs down. Um, hey, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. I appreciate all the subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.